Hey everybody, it's been at least a month now since I've done a video and uh, I've not been completely idle. Uh, I did finish the sheath for this knife. Uh, pretty happy with it. I think I did a pretty good job. That's going to be given away at the Men's Sportsman's Banquet here uh, in a, a couple of weeks now. So anyways, if you're here for a bladesmithing video, uh, that's not what this one's going to be about. Uh, this one's going to be kind of an explanation uh, as to why you hear me complaining about my back sometimes and uh, kind of an introduction for people out there that are considering a spinal stimulator trial to give you a little bit of information about what my experience was like with that. So first let me just uh, let you know that I've had three back surgeries, um, three major back surgeries. I herniated uh, my L5-S1 disc into the sciatic nerve root on the left side about three years ago now and I have not had a pain-free day since. And um, most people do not understand what that's like. If you're watching this video, you probably have a clue what it's like or you love someone that suffers with something similar. So anyways, let's kind of jump right in. I spent almost two weeks in a trial period where they surgically inserted electrical leads uh, up into my spine, uh, up right along your spinal cord and uh, through those leads, uh, they hook them up to units on the outside during the trial period, and those leads put electrical signals uh, directly to your spinal cord to try to uh, cancel out your pain signals that headed to your brain. Um, so chances are you've already studied this a little bit. So um, my experience was with two units. The first unit was the Nevro uh, HF10. Um, it operates on a 10,000 hertz frequency that you cannot feel. Uh, you just feel less pain. Um, the conclusion of that unit for me was it definitely did help. It didn't help all of my problem, but it helped a lot of the low back stuff uh, and the stuff that kind of went, went down the back side of the leg. It didn't really help so much of the stuff that goes down the front side of the leg. But overall, I probably got 30 to 50% relief. Uh, unfortunately, my doctor did not feel that that's enough to justify uh, surgically implanting the permanent unit and battery. Uh, that was a pretty depressing day when I found out that because 30 to 50 percent relief is better than no relief and uh, I kind of wanted to seriously consider whether I wanted to go that route and he kind of shut me down. Um, I may talk with him further about that but it is what it is. I also um, in the second half of my trial period uh, I tried the St. Jude model and I don't know exactly uh, what their new name is because they've changed over company names something else but their unit is also uh, providing a pulse frequency, is what theirs does. I believe it's supposed to be operating between 500 and 1000 hertz. You cannot feel it. It's supposed to also just lower your pain. And for me, it did. It helped the front of the leg a little more than the back of the leg. But even the front of the leg, it only maybe covered up to 25% overall of my pain. Uh, useful, but not really a home run by any stretch of the imagination. That particular unit also happened to have a tonic mode and in the tonic mode it um, produces an older style lower frequency um, pulses uh, that you can feel um, very much uh, like the older model spinal stimulators that they've been using with pretty good effect for a lot of people for many many years so um, I found that uh, unit to be very interesting but uh, I think I had more hope in the Nevro unit and uh, like I said, again, it's, it's kind of sad to me that I don't really have that option. Um, but uh, the trial period is not fun. So if you think uh, you're just going to have lower pain during your trial period, it's going to be fun, you're wrong. So when they put those leads up through your muscles and into the epidural space of your back, it hurts. Not only does it hurt, for me personally, I don't know about everyone else, I could feel those leads kind of a little bit sensitive where they were poking through my muscles and out my back and I, I felt that sensitivity for several days um, up to up to a full week and uh, it kind of sullied the whole experience a little bit adding a little bit of new pain while you're trying to take care of the old pain but uh, would I do it again yes uh, I would do it again just so I know what therapies are out there what level of relief that I could get I'm not so sure I'm going to be able to go forward with that method of therapy to help me out, but I, I needed to know. Um, since then, I even tried out some hemp oil, which has had literally no effect for me personally, but this video isn't about that. 
Um, the only thing that really helps uh, that I'm doing regularly is the gabapentin. I'm not about those uh, narcotics, uh, the drugs that make you feel high and not yourself. I just, I, I can refuse to do that. So, with all that said, I just want you to know that chances are, if you're experiencing the kind of pain that I experience uh, all the time, you probably don't have a lot of people around you that really understand it. And uh, I want you to know that I do get it. And uh, if nothing else, God has blessed me through this of being more compassionate to other people that have pain, uh, more particularly with elderly people whose bodies are failing them. And uh, I feel like I'm getting a taste of that, even though I'm only 41. And um, I'm doing my best to just keep healthy anyway, to do what I can, hurt or no hurt, um, go to work because I don't want to be on disability and then just waste away in this bed. Uh, I want to kind of keep uh, doing what I can do and be as healthy as I can be. And um, so hopefully this is encouraging and helpful to someone. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Drop them in the comments below. Uh, I want to be of service to other people that struggle with the same thing. And uh, just know that you're not alone. And uh, as far as uh, you bladesmithing guys out there, uh, or ladies, if you hear me complaining about my back, um, I try not to in the videos, but this is why this stuff right here, it's been a long journey. It's been, it's been a huge struggle and it has been life altering. So, uh, it's the whole reason I started this hobby because I wanted to have a reason to, to get out of bed when I didn't have to, uh, to, to do something that I enjoy. So that, that's why I started this. So anyways, uh, Hey, you guys have a great day and God bless.